All right, so we're gonna make a draggable component that you can drag around like this. Uh, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is create a draggable component. I'll create a section tag, the class of draggable, and then there'll be a slot in here so I can put HTML and other components. Then I'll import that component in, like so. Be sure you spell from right. <laughs> And then we'll just do it like this. And this way we can see as we build. So I'm just going to say drag me right there. Next we're going to style our component. So I'm going to say style. And I'm going to style on the draggable tag. I'm going to say user select. And we're going to set that equal to none. So user won't be able to select any text. We're going to do a position absolute so that we can move it anywhere we want. Uh, we're going to do a border of solid, one pixel gray, and then we'll also do a uh, cursor of move. So when I hover over it, you can see the move cursor. Next, we're going to add two um, uh, variables or props in our script tags. So I'm going to export these. And we're going to set the left equal to 30. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say style equals left colon left px. So that looks good. So now if I were to change this to 50, you can change it there. You can also go into here. Now that's a propped and we can say uh, 50 like so. And that would override anything we do here. So if I change this to 70, you can see it doesn't change. Next thing we'll do is we'll create another one for the top. We'll say let top equal 30 and we'll do the same thing. And let's see, unexpected token. Oops, we forgot to set an equal. So now it's looking good. So if I did 50, you can see it changes. And we can also set this here as well. Okay, so that'll control the starting position. Next, we'll create a variable called moving, and we're going to set this equal to false. And we'll create a function in here that will be called start. And all this will do is set moving to true. And moving is true whenever we want to start moving the, uh, the uh, drag wheel component. So then I'm going to go into here, and I'll make this a little bit wider. So I'm going to say on mouse down not click so whenever the mouse is down we want to call the start function so now start should make this true and that should be called we can test this out by doing a reactive console.log statement for moving and let's see I'm gonna move this up a little bit and it looks like it's working because I can see true is getting logged so now we want to create a special swelt component and this is called a swelt uh, window and we're going to hook on to the on mouse up event and this will be called whenever the mouse is up and this will call the stop function uh, so whenever the mouse is up we want to stop moving the div so we'll say function stop and this will just set moving to false and I'll take out the extra space there and we'll put stop right there so now if I were to click it, you can see true, false, true, false. So it's looking good. The last thing we need to do is we need to hook into the move event. So whenever the mouse moves, if we're moving, we want to move the div. So the way we'll do that is we'll create a function called move. And this function will take in an event. They all technically take in an event, but this one will actually use the event. So we'll say on mouse move, and we'll set this equal to the move function. And what we're going to say is if we're moving, then we want to say left plus equals e dot movement x and top plus equals e dot movement y. And this will get the movement of the mouse. So now I should be able to click on this and drag it around. So that's looking good. And that is um, how you build a uh, draggable component in Swelt. 
So I uh, hope you learned something. I also wanted to make mention that uh, I do run a meetup for Swelt. So if you want to give a talk, a presentation, a demo, anything like that, we'd love to we'd love to have your talk or demo. And if you just want to come and visit it, I'll have a link in the uh, description of the video. If you have any feedback or questions, I really appreciate it, positive or negative. I use it all. And I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you soon.